What's up guys, welcome back to another episode on Isotopia server. Last episode we made this bamboo farm and this kelp farm. And we also made this vault here, I finished it up. I placed the ceilings I, and dug out more over that side. It looks so much more cleaner like this. I didn't do the elevator yet, but I'm gonna do that soon. I'm also gonna place like diamond blocks, like gold blocks and other blocks to fill in the area to make it more cooler with the other blocks. So it doesn't look empty and i'm also going to put like a tv lounge area and behind that is going to be the bedroom and about the xc farm here i tested this out in the creative world i tested out cactus and cactus got me more xp than help by like five times and i placed a roll of sea lanterns to see if the bamboo will grow higher but i don't know yet because i just did that but we'll see Hopefully it does grow higher and then I can get more bamboo. The problem is that I wasn't getting that much bamboo from this farm. I kept on going out really quickly if there's kelp in here. I think there's some kelp running out now. When I don't lock these uh, smokers, it always runs out of bamboo. I'll see if this light will make a difference. I think it is because it's growing higher than the others. So that might be good. So I gotta have to put in the walls, the walls of light. And about the cactus giving me more XP, I'm probably gonna make a cactus farm here so I can get a lot more XP than the kelp gives me. And over here is gonna be where the villagers are gonna be, like the wheat farm and the carrot farm. I'm not gonna do potato farm because my villager breeder already produces potato, so I don't need that. And carrots and potato are basically the same thing for like breeding pigs, so it doesn't matter doesn't matter which one so i'm just gonna do carrots and then the half of it is gonna be like the animal farm like the cow farm pig farm and sheep farm i would mainly want like the cows because it produces leather but i don't exactly need these farms but it's just something to have just in case because my gold farm with the bartering already produces some leather so i don't exactly need it and it's mainly to make picture frames or item frames and I can just craft up the wool with string from the mob farm. Those farms aren't really needed yet, so I might do that at the end of this episode or next episode even. So if I get the cactus farm and the bamboo farm inside of it done, and also the interior of the vault as well, if I got all those done, I might start building the roof of the circle and maybe even start the skyscraper as well. But we'll see how much we get done. So let's do that. Here's the vault finished. I put all the ores and blocks, like diamond blocks, obviously, as you can see. And that's basically like a diamond throne. And I can show you guys up here. So here I made like a hallway and there's like uh, displays of heads, like item heads. And here in the middle, I'm gonna put my head. I'm gonna have to get that. And over here is like the lounge area or the living room. It has like a nice fire fireplace and that's supposed to be t a TV. The pictures can't go like three by two so i had to just do that and over these like area here like here that those are going to be like the uh, displays for the display that like where the item heads are going to go like similar to the up on the hallway over there same for the other side and over here is the bedroom master bedroom i guess and it's uh, also a fireplace with the tv and put uh the, that guy and i'm gonna have like armors here Diamond armor obviously because I don't have any netherite armor and over in these chests is going to be like the The tools like the swords the bow the pickaxe or backup just in case if I die I Spawn here and get all the the backup kits and you already seen this. It's the water elevator I go up here and Go through the hall and I press this button and it brings me down and over in the bamboo farm, I actually did the inside of it. So now there's lots of light. So I'm pretty sure it did grow higher. I think it just went off the climb blocks. It looks really cool. Over in like the corner there, it's where the black concrete powder is. 
So I can't put sea lanterns in there, so that sucks. And I also had to do one more sea lantern block because it wouldn't be like it's not even. So I had to do one more block. So it's not that bad, I guess. And I also replaced the smokers with furnaces. And I also tested out that smokers give less XP than furnaces. So I replaced it with furnaces instead of smokers. Oh, I need to smelt the cactuses as well because they can't go in smokers as well. Anyways, might as well just replace the smokers with furnaces. But now I'm going to dig out this area here. For the cactus farm so hopefully i can get more xp and i can also get green dye for it whenever i need it because over here the glass here is actually green stain and i had to buy the green dye and also inside the blocks there are lime terracotta so i had to get green dye as well i had some extra so good, good thing i kept those and also got the terracotta from trading the villagers up up there and by the way the Diamond throne here is about four stacks of diamond blocks. Just letting you guys know. But anyways, I'm gonna start the cactus farm. All right, so here's the cactus farm finished. I made it pretty high up, but if the rates aren't that good, I'm gonna actually extend it to the top, but as you can see, it's definitely working. Uh, see, look at that cactus there. Let's see how much we got. I put it in just chests. We got a decent amount, so I actually might make it a little higher as well. I expect it to get a little more. Uh, basically, there's a glass pane there. It breaks the cactus when it grows, and then it falls down to the water and collects it in these hoppers. I'm gonna have a hopper that goes to the furnaces over there, so then hopefully I can get more XP um, from this farm or the furnaces and for the interior I'm gonna do the same thing as the bamboo farm have like the lime terracotta and the sea lanterns and glass and some slime blocks but I'm gonna do that off camera because it's the same thing as like bamboo farm so now I'm gonna dig out this area here I'm probably gonna just make everything here like the villager farm villager wheat farm and the animal farm over here I hope this works I'm thinking of just making a grass area and let them th letting them spawn there so then I don't have to transport them down here also I dug out like a hole for elevators here so then you can go up and down so I can transport the villagers like this so it'll be much more easier and if the animals don't spawn down there I can transfer them from here as well and this is obviously gonna be up or the other way around depends how I do it I probably won't get to the skyscraper yet it definitely would be next episode so now I'm gonna dig out this area here and make it nice for the villagers and animals. Alright, so here's the two farms. The bottom here is going to be the wheat farm. And the top here is going to be the carrot farm. I don't know if this is going to exactly work as planned. It's a little bigger than it's supposed to be. Hopefully the villagers path fine to like the... The edges and same for the top these trapdoors here are so the villagers don't like uh use the composters from the seeds that they get because their inventory has to be full or else they'll pick up the wheat so we don't we don't get any wheat basically how it works is the villagers would have like a full inventory i would give them seeds and they will plant out the wheat and when the wheat's finish growing they break the wheat and pick up the seeds only and under here is the is hoppers and the hoppers pick up items on top of the farmland because it's not exactly a full block picks up the wheat and some seeds and it goes to this chest and i'm gonna have some storage somewhere maybe here or somewhere else i don't know where we'll see and for the top here i actually don't think i need these trapdoors because it doesn't matter about the carrots because they can plant carrots and get carrots again and the sea lanterns here are very similar to like the chorus fruit farm you can tell that i like doing this kind of design and same thing for the ceiling I really like the sea lanterns with glass for the top platform here I might put smooth quartz slabs but then I don't see the dirt we just see the quartz so it's much more nicer I'm gonna have to transport the villagers now look at all the slimes here there's so many it's like an army of slimes after me but they don't hurt me the cactus farm has produced a decent amount of cactus and it got this chest full so I have to empty out this chest 
I'm gonna soon transport the cactuses to the furnaces. And also for the furnaces collection system, because we are putting cactuses in the furnace to smelt, they're gonna produce a lot of green dye. I'm gonna have to make a bigger collection system because here it's actually already full, or except for this one. So I might transport the dried kelp to the near the super smelter, like on the right side there, so we can have easy access to the dried kelp or fuel. And for the green dye, I'm gonna put it here. So then it's also easy access, but I don't exactly know if I can. I might have to move this redstone because this redstone signal goes all the way up to the ceiling door, which is over here. And that's how it turns on or opens so I can get into the vault. So I might put this around like where the vault is. So, it's, uh, so I have more space here to make the storage. And over here is definitely a pretty small space. Spiders interrupting me. Space here is pretty small for the animals because I couldn't move it more back. Is uh, the red zone here for the chorus fruit farm so I guess it's fine I guess it won't be a big problem I'm gonna have like a fence here so I can walk in without having to worry about the animals getting out and I might have an elevator here so then I can go up up each floor I'm gonna just have pigs and cow because I don't need wool I actually have too much string from the mall farm and I can get more if I needed to I just can't get dyed wool unless I make the dye if I ever needed it but that's fine. Uh, I can just I can just make the dye manually. So now I'm gonna transport the villagers to the to this farm. I'm gonna have to make this elevator as well. Okay, I decided this one's gonna be going down since it's much closer here, but it doesn't really matter. This one's gonna go down and the other one's gonna go up. And the server has been doing pretty good right now. It has 16 people, lots of new players joining. So that's a good sign for the server. Michael here. So dumb. All right, I put all four villagers in there. So basically how the carrot farm works is there's a villager that the farmers pathfind to and give like the uh, the crops or carrots to them. And basically it, it gets collected from there. I might actually have to get two more villagers because it's for each like section, I guess, or each farmer. It doesn't need to be done for the wheat farm. And I think this guy is planting potatoes because he got potatoes from the breeder. Cause that's what it's growing there the breeder villager breeder so i might have to let him plant all his potatoes and then give him seeds so then he can plant the wheat i might put the villager back there in the middle and the other one maybe there if i have space because the vault is right next to it if i can't do there then it has to be like here somewhere here so it might take up a bit of space here and i'm gonna have to put a wall actually in the middle i forgot to do that i don't know if i need to put a wall here but I'll just do that just, just in case if anything goes wrong somehow. All right, I did the animal section here. Pretty similar to the wheat farm and the carrot farm. And I forgot to tell you guys this, but I made the elevators. You already saw it. And yeah, it's pretty simple. It's just soul sand and magma blocks to go up and down. And here's a fence. I want to have animals in there. And the, this fence blocks them off, so it prevents them from escaping. And I can jump off these carpets, but they can't. So that's why these are here. And here's a storage for the wheat farm. Uh, there's the carrots, wheat, and seeds. And it's, it's the same thing up here, except for the, there's no storage here. And I'm gonna put the animals, I'm gonna put in the animals in between episodes. And now I can actually remove this beacon here. So I can do the, finish up the flooring here. And for the, for the output, like the dried kelp, I actually transported the items to over there. I only did the hoppers. I only connected the hoppers to this side and they're all coming in 
I'm gonna make the storage here in between episodes as well. And also I'm gonna transfer the green dye over to the beside the cactus farm. And I'm actually recording this on Christmas Day. So the mark is, is a bit different. There's some snow. I don't know how it, there is snow here, but there is. There's a Christmas tree. Everything looks really nice with the snow and everything's Christmas themed. So that's pretty cool. And the chest is actually a Christmas presents and the double chest is green. So that's pretty cool. Also in the armor shop or blacksmith, I changed up the changed up how it looks. Just two barrels so it looks more cleaner. And also up here in the armor shop. I just made individual barrels for each tool and just made it look more nicer. And I'm also selling name tags just because I don't think there's a shop for name tags. So I might as well just make one because I have villagers that trade them. This is actually my Christmas skin. I just have a Christmas hat on my skin pretty much. So well, that's going to be the end of the video. If you guys liked it, please comment, like, and subscribe. And happy holidays to you all. Without you. No, 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 it don't feel right. Without you.